Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ryan from GFX Port. Uh, as I have said, uh, 2009 is when GFX Port V3 is going to be relaunched. Um, we are turning into HD video tutorials. Um, first, uh, our, our first video is going to be pretty basic. Uh, I'll start. I've already started on it, but I'll go back to the beginning. What I'm going to be teaching you today is how to create some fog on uh, original images. It actually looks pretty decent effect when it's finished. Uh, you can use the fog for valleys or like rivers or vineyards or anything of the sort that you can put your mind to. So uh, first we start off with our image. We want to duplicate it. And then after it's duplicated, we want to go to filter, blur, and radio blur. And we want to do it 100, 100 at zoom and best quality of course. Then I just see it gives us that. Now we want to go to our rectangular marquee tool and delete the sky area. And on the same layer over here, layer one copy, we want to press control U, which pulls up the hue slash saturation. And we want to turn the saturation right down. So it goes to grayscale. Alright, once you got there, we want to start going around and erasing the edges. This may be difficult for others, uh, like as you see, as you start erasing, you can't really see where the water is and where the fog would be hovering over the water. <clears throat> so what you can do is just is pretty much trial by error. Uh, you just keep going around, change your brush sizes, and just uh, like smush your face towards the screen so you can see. <laughs> and yeah, you just keep going around and just erasing this exposing where the fog wouldn't reach because fog generally tends to sit on whatever that's uh, like water or anything that can get wet so you just basically you just go around do it do it roughly because uh, once you get around to the final you do your final touches so we got that right now we want to make a new layer and now we want to change to the paintbrush tool you want to pick around, uh, I'll go with, let's see what size, no, we'll go with 21, yeah, 21 looks good. And we want to go with white, and we just want to make streams of the fog. And this effect, you'll see, it actually looks pretty sweet when it's done. Just keep going around making these streams. Alrighty, now we got the streams made, we want to blur them out. So we go to filter, blur, box blur. Uh, we can go with something a little bit smaller. But as you see, it tends to uh, expose the paintbrush lines too much. So it might be good at 21 here. And now we just play with the opacity layers. Uh, we want to go back to layer one, turn down opacity a bit. So it exposes the water. And as you see those brush lines we did, it, it makes the, the fog look thicker in some areas than the other. So it actually gives it that nice real look. And we can uh, go around and start touching up. Just want to start erasing. Get these bushes exposed. And so I just see that land right there is lower than the tree, so the, uh, the fog could hover over it. So I'm going to leave that there actually doesn't look that bad. As you see, I missed some water over here, but this since it's a tutorial, I'm doing it quick, I guess, to uh, keep it under 10 minutes for HD videos. Uh, so, pretty much done, but as you see the sun here, you just don't want to leave the image without uh, giving it its final touches. So we can merge these two layers together. You can hold the shift key and click on the other layer, and it selects them both. And then right click, and uh, where is it? Merge layers. Now it merges them together. What I'm going to do here is since that sun's shining in on the water, it should make the fog go uh, a bit yellow. So what I'm going to do is use this uh, elliptical marquee tool with a 20 pixel feather, as you see up here. 
and I'm going to press Control U on layer two, the layers I just merged together. Control U, which is the hue slash saturation. I'm going to colorize it. As you see, it changed a little bit red there. We crank it all the way up, but we want to make it gold yellow. And as you see, it looks like the the sun sun rays are beaming through the fog. And there you have it. Pretty basic, simple effect in making fog. Uh, you can sit around and play with it more to get uh, a better effect. But as this is the video, I'm going to make it nice, short, quick, and easy. And yeah, I definitely hope you guys learned something from this. And uh, stay tuned for more tutorials. I'm going to be launching a lot very soon. I'm going to be uh, pretty busy working on just GFX support. Uh, and yeah, so yeah, just sub subscribe to the right, you know. Hook a brother up. <laughs> All right. Take her easy, YouTube.